Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I love quiche, but my favorite kind, which is ham and cheese, doesn't really work well for my non-pork eating family. So I decided to give turkey ham a try. I am not a huge fan of turkey bacon. It's not a substitute for real bacon. But I found that turkey ham did actually taste and feel exactly like regular ham. I honestly couldn't have told you the difference if I wasn't the one who made this dish. So let's go ahead and get started. You can make your own crust from scratch, but I really like these pre-made ones you can get in the freezer section of the grocery store. I specifically like the deep dish ones so that every slice is pretty thick and hearty instead of the dainty little pieces people usually get. We are going to dock the crust, which means putting little holes in the bottom to help it with baking. You can see here I'm just using a fork and I went ahead and baked that by itself following the directions on the packaging. Once the shell was baked, I could start filling it with my goodies. Here's the turkey ham I diced into some pretty big chunks. I'm going to use a couple different kinds of cheese. Here you can see I have Monterey Jack and Gouda. I'm going to dice each of those up as well. I like to throw in some veggies as well. So here I have some scallions that I'm just gonna slice up and we'll add those in as well. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, but you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and subscribe. While you're at it, hit the like button and also be sure to hit the bell so you get notified about new videos. Time to get our egg mixture ready. Crack your eggs into a bowl and add your salt, spices, and half of your flour. Give it a little mix and it was at this point I realized that I really only intended to make one quiche but I had actually cut up enough stuff for at least two so here you see me basically doubling my egg mixture Once you have all that stuff mixed up, you can add your cream and milk and then whisk it all together. Then you're gonna set that to the side. In a separate dry bowl, we're gonna dust the cheese that we cut up with our remaining flour. And then we're going to add that cheese to our cooled baked shell. And then I just did the same thing with the turkey ham. I tossed the pieces that I had cut up in the leftover flour. Now you don't want your quiche to have a layer of cheese and a layer of meat. You want them kind of randomly dispersed. So I did my best to kind of mix them up, but I probably should have just moved them to a big bowl and tossed them around to make things easier. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle our sliced scallions around. It's okay if they're mostly on the top. And then we're gonna pour our egg mixture over everything. Don't fill it up too high. You want it to be roughly about three quarters of the way to the top. 
this point, I realized I still had too much filling, so I actually did two mini crustless quiches in addition to the two larger ones. In the description for this video, I'll put the amounts that I used here, but I'll also put the amount I should have used for those of you that just want to make one quiche and it'll have the correct measurements. Not that quiche ever goes bad at our house. Even with making all this extra, none went to waste. It was all eaten within a few days. But if you're like, wait, no, that's absolutely too much, then you can freeze the extra for a quick meal later, which is what I like to do with a lot of my meals because let's face it, we're all busy, right? If you are going to freeze them, I recommend doing them in foil pans or something like that. And I also recommend doing them in individual portion sizes so that you don't have to wait for an entire quiche to thaw out just to get one piece. I always like to place things on a foil covered baking sheet just to make cleanup easier in case of spillage. And then these went in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The large ones I baked for about 45 minutes. The two smaller ones I took out of the oven about five minutes ahead of those. These are delicious right out of the oven. However, they may not cut as neatly when they're hot, but yeah, there you have it. I hope you make these for your family and enjoy. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite flavor combination for quiche? And if you'd like to see me make additional quiche videos, let me know that too. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.